This is an explanations question and we have to offer an explanation for the paradox or resolve the paradox. There is no conclusion in the argument and the missing link is between the older age group having a greater proportion of people with health insurance as compared to the younger age group and the conclusion that both the age groups that is 40 to 60 and 20 to 40 having similar likelihood of seeking a second opinion. Our broad expectation from the correct answer choice is that it offers an explanation for the paradox. Let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A. This answer choice says that people over the age of 40 are more likely to buy health insurance. If this is so, it supports the fact that there are more people proportionally in the 40 to 60 age group who have health insurance than those in the 20 to 40 age group. However, this answer choice makes no suggestion regarding why the difference in the likelihood of seeking the second opinion exists. So this answer choice is just additional information and fails to explain the paradox. Let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice B. This answer choice compares the coverage of health insurance between some people in the younger age group and some people in the older age group. However, this answer choice makes no suggestion regarding the likelihood of seeking second opinion. Also note that this answer choice talks only about some people and is limited in scope. So this answer choice is just additional information and does not resolve the paradox. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice C. This answer choice says that people generally do not seek a second opinion unless it comes from more qualified physicians. This piece of information will be applicable to people in both age groups and this answer choice makes no suggestion regarding the likelihood of seeking second opinion. So this answer choice fails to explain the paradox. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice D. This answer choice talks about all people with health insurance. So it is applicable to both age groups. Also, this answer choice makes no suggestion regarding the likelihood of seeking a second opinion. So this answer choice again is just additional detail and does not explain the paradox. So let's eliminate this answer choice. Answer choice E. This answer choice says that young people are more likely than others to seek a second opinion. So this answer choice indicates that the 20 to 40 age group as a group is more likely to seek second opinion than the 40 to 60 age group. So this answer choice hints at a factor that influences the likelihood of seeking a second opinion and explains why the younger age group and the older age group are equally likely to seek a second opinion even when more people in the older age group have health insurance. So this answer choice explains the paradox. E is the correct answer choice.